when is this robotics competition going on? Uh, actually, it has already started. Uh, it starts in January where they introduce the game for the year and they ship a, a kit of parts to all the participating high schools. And uh, the kids and uh, the mentors have six weeks to build the, uh, the robots and ship them to the uh, regionals that they will participate in. Any idea how many schools in Virginia, in Virginia participate? And, uh, well, at this regional, there is 65 uh, teams from uh, around the state that are participating. And uh, BAE Systems sponsors, I think, at least 70 teams throughout the U.S., and in this particular competition in Richmond, uh, Norfolk Ship Repair is sponsoring uh, seven teams. Okay, understood. Um, how, so you said you send these out in January. It takes about six weeks. So we're, we're getting right to the point now where, where these should be finished up and being sent back, correct? Uh, yeah, after the regionals, uh, they'll, uh, I believe they send them back, and, uh, and any of the teams that qualify for the finals, I, I believe they would ship them then to Atlanta, uh, the finals are held in Atlanta with over uh, 30,000 kids participating in that. And that and that's like a giant Mardi Gras, and there's uh, a whole lot of fun going on down there. Listen, when, when, is, when exactly is the regional final in, in Richmond? Uh, the regional final is being held uh, today, Friday, and Saturday at the Siegel Center at uh, VCU. And this is the uh, 10th anniversary of the uh, NASA VCU uh, regional at the Siegel Center. And this year's competition is paying uh, homage to the Apollo 11 mission and the 40th anniversary of the landing on the moon with a game called Lunacy. What, how detailed do these, do these robots end up getting? Are, uh, are we looking at basics? or Do, do these, some of these get really, really detailed and, and really creative? Oh, oh, yes, indeed they do. I uh, can't start designing it till they understand what the competition is going to be, and that's with the announcement of the game. And then they have to design the robots uh, mechanically, uh, electrically, electronically to be able to participate in the game. And so, they, I mean, they create, fabricate, like, the outside skin, the frame, and then they have to create all, all the, uh, and design the motors, and they have to design the electronics, the computer brain that's actually going to operate all the different functions in order to uh, function in the game, in the competition. You mentioned that this game involves, uh, the game is called Lunacy. What exactly do these robots need to do uh, for, this, for this regional? All right. There are six uh, robots on the field, and the field kind of looks like a hockey rink. It's uh, pretty large. I think it's about 55 by 30 feet. And the robots start out in an autonomous mode, which means nobody is controlling the robot. It's all been programmed into the onboard computer. And uh, most of the robots head for the center because while the robots are moving on the field, there are human participants who are tossing what's called moon cells and super cells inside uh, the trailers that the robots are towing around uh, the field. And at, after a certain portion of time, the uh, judges will uh, allow the human operators to approach their uh, joystick and uh, programming at, uh, at the edge of the rink and then they would, they would direct the robots and try to scoop up all these stray balls, which are about uh, nine inches in diameter, scoop them up, and then toss them at the other robots. So they either go up a ramp or uh, they're collected by bands or uh, however the team has designed and built it in order to uh, complete the task. And the task is to uh, gather and throw the balls, the moon cells, collect points by the different type of moon cells. The team with the highest amount of points at the end of the match is qualified and would move on to the finals. Almost sounds like a robotic game of dodgeball. Yes, exactly. Um, and you said this goes on for a couple of days and then the, 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 you have the finals in Atlanta as well, correct? Right. Well, today is uh, like uh, set up, practice, uh, qualify, and uh, match practice matches. And uh, they have to register, so have to uh, get signed in. Now, these uh, there's a lot of rules involved. They have to meet height requirements and weight requirements, and uh, even the parts requirements uh, rules because you're allowed to use 
the kits that the organization sent you, and also you can find some other features into it as long as it fits the rules. Understood. And uh, the goal overall with this competition is to get kids interested in math and science. So. Right, exactly. These high school students, they design and build the robots for the uh, first robotics competition, and they also work on a smaller scale for the first tech challenge, and they also have a Lego league for uh, middle school kids. And these kids will be our legacy, so it's important to get them interested in uh, math and science and the technology because they're the ones who will formulate, design, invent, build, and create the language of discovery for the future. Understood. Anything else you would like to add? Anything you think I may have missed? Oh, uh, yeah. First has many college scholarships available to students who participate. Uh, I saw a list where they give away around $9 million worth of scholarships. Uh, it's great to have your kids involved in this. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful event. Uh, we want people to come out to the Siegel Center today and Friday and Saturday, this weekend, to witness this is a new high school varsity sport where every kid can turn pro. And if you need more information, you can always go to www.usfirst.org. Understood. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. thanks a lot, Matt. No problem. Thank you. All right. I offer you the opportunity to join me in glorious battle.